Welcome to another episode of Anything Fast, Anything Fun, where we are doing just that. On today's episode, we're building a cannon, a bowling ball cannon. I've got another trailer here that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Thank you for that. That makes like three of them now. And what we're gonna do is we're going to build a giant cannon that shoots bowling balls. Bowling balls! Okay, so how are we gonna get these 10 pound monsters a mile in the sky? I'm not going to tell you because that part might be dangerous. And when it comes to things that are dangerous, you just shouldn't do them. So here's your disclaimer. Do not try this at home. That's all, just don't do it. Because we're professionals and we're doing it here for the sole purpose that you can watch this and you don't have to. All right, so hopping into the design of this thing, gonna just sketch this out here, kind of like we did on the shaker table. All right, we've got the trailer. There's the tongue with the hitch. And so what I'm thinking here is we've got the cannon, right? The barrel. We'll go about like that. And I'm thinking we'll go put like an arm up like this, some square tubing, put a couple little gussets in like that. And what I've got that I'm going to mount this thing with, because I want the cannon to be able to go up and down, back and forth, depending on which direction we want it to shoot. And so what I've got here are these little like hitches, little trailer ball, go in there, little pin, and then I'll be able to weld either this side or I'll cut the shank off of the ball and weld that to the tubing, and then that will be able to allow it to rotate. And then as far as latching that thing in, I've got some chains. I'm gonna just do some chains, little hook to there. Just got some little hooks like this. Where'd those go? They around? Over here. Over here. Like that right there. Like that right there. Got these guys. So pretty straightforward. I've got some giant, giant uh, vintage military wheels and tires coming. Um, that will be the last part of the project. Um, we're gonna paint this thing and then we're gonna launch a bowling ball like a mile into the atmosphere. So we've got giant tires like this and uh, wham bam, thank you ma'am. So. Let's get started. Holy, holy. Rock, bend with your back. <laughs> Bro. That is gnarly. If that falls, the whole town's gonna know it. I've got these little magnets. This might help keep it from all the Oh, perfect. Yeah. Huh. All right. So now, what my plan is, is I'm going to take this and suspend it in the air and just kind of have it levitating over where it's actually going to go. And then that way I can build all of the bracketry and everything around it. Dang, I need to work out. This is kind of scary because if I throw it this way and something happens, it's going to land on the hood of the Corvette. If I throw it that way, it can land on the sign. So I'm just going to have to do this. Perfectly. Perfectly. No pressure. And I don't even know if it's long enough to get there. Oh. Okay. I just don't know if it actually is long enough. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I can whip it less than ideal. The rest not gonna work. <laughs> All right, but now I know that it'll make it third time's the charm. Oh my goodness! Oh! Come on! Watch this. Take a couple. Just go ahead and get 
is a little better opportunity to hang on. 40 inches. It's gonna be way higher than the tires and I don't really want it to be. All right, so my first piece that I'm gonna cut here that said is gonna be 30, let's go three feet. <laughs> Here is the trailer, and here is the barrel. Okay. I'm going to build this up to here, but then I'm going to stop it about there. I'm going to use some plate like this, basically, with the hole in it. So if that's the case, I need the tubing to stop, probably around like that mark, which is approximately 32 inches. First piece would be 32 inches. 28 inches. Whoopsie. Minus four inches should be perfect. So I need to put the next one at 28. Why now? Because this sits down this low, and this one's gonna sit on top of it. Oh, cause I didn't I didn't realize it went all the way to the other side. Yeah. So. Yeah, the first thing I want to do is get this barrel mounted and then, you know, like build all of the other yeah, stuff off of it. Like yeah, I just want it to be there. not hanging from the ceiling, you know, to that point. Correct. I also don't want it to be hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Now would be the time. Let me see what this is. A little over 15 inches. So that's about like that. Fuck, that might be, might be perfect. I'm just gonna go with it like it is. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna build some little block off plates to go right on the top of those end caps, one for strength and rigidity, um, the other to keep like water and stuff out of it. And then I'm gonna build some plates off the top of those and either mount those little receiver hitches or the trailer balls, one or the other. I haven't decided which one's gonna go on the trailer versus the barrel. Um, but this is kind of just a figure it out as you go situation. So game on. The brand metal devil. The guy took a piece of steel angle iron and he chopped it in the trade show. And as soon as it fell off, he grabbed it and he stuck it to his arm. I was like, Oh my God. Well, it produces no heat. That's, that was the sales point. And how often do you see a chop saw with a blade like that? They're never, they're never like that. I was just thinking when those fell off, I was like, wonder how hot those are. Not.
They're not. I don't understand. There's no water or anything. That's crazy, huh? Are you going to stick it to your arm? Look. <laughs> I was still nervous. I was nervous too. <laughs> So this will be the ultimate test for this saw. It'll cut this forged steel. It's probably like 4140 or 4130, high grade, high alloy forging. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> that I cut this is because whenever you put this up here like this you can see sideways how much of a gap there is on the top and the bottom so that'll be harder to weld so I cut the edges off so whenever I do it like this now I have much less uh, gap to fill and I can get more surface area of a weld this is all just speculation again I I'm not a welder or fabricator for the most part and just trying to fake it till I make it. It moved on me but have no fear. I'm going to go ahead and weld the ball to this right at the top of it. Weld the plates together just so that they have a little bit more strength. The smart thing to do would be to like drill a couple of holes in this to really increase the, the weld. You know what I mean? Yeah, I should. But I'm not going to. Right, no, don't. <laughs> All right, give us an update. All right, so what I've got done here is everything's like mounted. Uh, many of the pieces are permanent. I am pretty happy with how it turned out so far. And now what the next thing is, is while it's still suspended, I'm going to go ahead and take the chain and I'm going to weld it to here and then set it up where it's going to be on its its mounting position. Hopefully it holds good. If it doesn't, well, we'll figure out something else. But I think it's going to be good. What I'll do is on this one I'll go from here to like there. That's what I'll do. I'll make them go inside to inside. And then that way whenever we're shooting them, what I really need to consider is when it's pointed straight up because for the most part it's going to be always firing straight up we will be shooting this direction but if that's the case I can just get a couple more hooks and work around it I don't know what do you think should I go mm. like here to here or should I go from here to up there actually if I do it on each end you won't need the chain it if it's work. going straight up. Well, You'll just need a stopper. Alright, so now that we've figured out 
what we're doing here, I'm just going to tack the chain right now to the top of the pipe. I think that'll be better than trying to weld the chain entirely to the bottom because then all of the weight of this cannon is pulling on the weld of, well, just the weld itself. So this way, now the chain is actually capturing it and holding it. So the load is on the chain instead of just the weld. And then I'm gonna weld these hooks right here down about like that. So then we'll be able to take each side loose and uh, tighten it however, whatever angle we want. So stand by. Real good. Real good, Clark. Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah! Get pumped up. <laughs> Except there's still a lot left in here. Is that their tagline? Get pumped up? Mm-mm. No. no, it's not. However, this isn't a black rifle. It's a black cannon. And I feel like they would appreciate it. You know? They would. It's war related. All right, so here's what's going down. This is the moment that we're going to release the straps. So it's been suspended by the ceiling of this building, this entire build so far. And now is the time that I think that we're just gonna go ahead and cut her loose. If all goes well, the chain on the back will hold it. If it doesn't, we'll run. It won't hold it. All right, here we go. Oh, you don't need my help? Look at it. Oh, is it on its own right now? Yeah. Oh. Bro, what a masterpiece. So that, there it is, that's, it's on? It's on, dude. All right, watch your head. Bro, look at it. Hello. Boom. Yeah, that's gonna be insane. All right, so I've got just a little bit of finishing work to do. I'm gonna add some gussets in and whatnot. Uh, I won't bore you with that whole part. And once that's finished, we've got to come up with the pieces that we're gonna put the explosive material inside uh, that's going to be basically the uh, the firing capsule. So uh, I'm going to knock this out real quick and then we're going to head up to the scrap pile and see if we can come up with like some sort of a tank end for that. Okay, so we're headed up to, we're gonna go to the barn first, maybe run into Pelican if he's around, but we're hopping in the mini truck right now to go and try to find the metal that we need. Good? Yeah, I got a 
I've got some with me right here. Stand by, let me go get a funnel. They might be here a long time. How you been? Good. There's not a ton, but it's probably enough to get you down to Bluffdale. I keep forgetting. Uh, hit the brakes, Dion. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's about a gallon. Yes, sir. That'll get me there, Alex. All right. Maybe. I mean, you're welcome to all of it. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Man. I just, I keep it back there just for. Wait, we got any cash? No way. I'm good, dude. It's like $3 worth of gas. It's all good. Happy to, happy to help. Are you I'm yeah. positive. I got $3. <laughs> it's all good. Wait. Yeah, buddy. Alex, thank you, man. Yeah, man. No problemo. hoping that it was gas that he ran out of and it's good to go now but yeah right, right up. I... who knows man man this thing will take off a third here we are another one over there that's out of the ground or that's not that's not buried over there not this one no, no. <laughs> not that one here it is dion found the perfect piece of clay just need to pull it right on up out of here just, oh something got me just kidding do right man if i could just have it cut right here you know that'd be yeah. nice so I don't have to. Derp! 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 <laughs> All right. So now, oh my gosh, I just had the greatest idea. What's that? A uh, plow disc on the end. Oh yeah. Bro. That'll be great. There, there's one right there. Well, I thought, kind of. That was not <clears> as thick <throat> as a normal plow disc. Look at these. You're brave for putting your hand down in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spooky things. <sighs> <laughs> but that's thick. You might could layer two of them. Yeah. I'm thinking that we'll just take this one and I can get this piece off eventually. Well, at the end of the day, I'm going to try to go ahead and dig a garden and plow. So, I just got to get Pelican hooked up. Yeah, that honestly, it looks just like new. You know, it's actually pretty awesome if you think about it. Consider this. Actually, consider this for a second. I don't know how long ago this this was made. More than 50 years, probably closer to 100. That this was actually manufactured brand new. At one point, this was sitting somewhere for sale, brand new, in some showroom or some lot. Like how crazy is that? And then some person over a hundred years ago walks in and they're like, how much for that? Oh, well, it's about 25 cents. And they bought it and took it home and hooked it to their horse and they literally plowed their field with this. So this is what's happening. 
this right here gets drug and it creates this channel, which you can see has been made. And then the back two pieces end up laying the dirt back over it. Back over it, so it plants it. So, so it exactly digs the trench, drops the seed, and then the two ones in the back yep, refill it. it. Wow. Now that thing right there is extra old. Yeah. That was All right. These are gonna be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Can we grab my new dolly? Get out of here. What I am gonna do, just since I've got it, is use it on this pop. Oh man, look, there's another plow disc right here. Not tied to anything. You know what's really cool about this stuff is this was all my granddad's stuff and all of the these like parts and everything that are right here have been there literally since he passed away. So it's all just still sitting here exactly as he left it about 15 years ago. Pretty crazy. Yeah. It really is crazy. And now here I am sifting through it to build a cannon. <laughs> Holy moly. This is so heavy. Okay. There we go. Crap. Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Oh. oh, slide it to the left. There you go. It's not going up. What's it hanging on? Push harder. Harder. Push it and hold it. Because I gotta set this down. down. Ow. Ow. What's happening? Oh, I see. Okay. That was terrible. I'm sure you I found a good place. Yeah. Okay. All right. We out of here. There's your phone. this red iron which is like for building materials so it's not super heavy duty it's not too lightweight like this except not as long there's a piece right above it that's splash on both sides isn't it no it's all right guys so i've brought in some reinforcements here this is my best friend ben and uh He's a welder, fabricator, driller, blaster, all of these things. And he can run a cutting torch a lot better than I can since he was right up the road. I hollered at him and he's gonna come bust these things out for us way better than I could have done, to be completely honest there. And uh, we're gonna finish up this cannon today. Today! It's going to go right here, okay? So then I'm gonna weld this pipe 
to this disc, and then I need a cap just cut for to, the, to, to just cap it off. Yeah. What are you a making? Disc. This is for my cannon. For your cannon. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go with this plate on one side, right? Yep. Where does this plate go? Though? It's That's gonna stack. It's gonna stack on top of it. So, so once you put them out, watch. Then they'll slide into each other. Yeah. I see. And so it'll give it like a. So like this one that has already been cut out, they'll be welded together. These two. I saw this. Okay. Bro, about to about to tap her up though. is a wrap on this thing at least for right now does it look like a cannon yes is it going to act like a cannon also yes up next we're going to sandblast this whole thing we're going to paint it army green and i've got some 40 inch tall tires military tires vintage military tires that are going to that are going to be sitting on this thing so stay tuned because we'll be right back we're going to fast forward and then it's going to be painted and you're going to love it and then it go boom, boom. <laughs> Look at how well balanced it is. Oh, it already launched a bowling ball. ball. 